But first, we are working breaking news. More charges tonight against the former Boy Scout camp assistant chaplain. State police revealed this afternoon they have now charged James Glosson with eight additional counts of first degree sexual assault. He's also charged with possession of child pornography. These new charges come after additional alleged victims came forward. As we've reported, Glosson was arrested last month for reportedly sexually assaulting a disabled 18 year old man. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live at state police headquarters with where the investigation stands and what message state police had for anyone watching tonight. Kate. Well, Mike and Shannon, James Glosson is still being held at the ACI without bail. He's been there since his arrest on February 14th, and today state police announced here those new charges against him. So they said that now means he faces 11 counts of first degree sexual assault, among other charges, and we're told by state police that he still does not have a lawyer. 74 year old James Glosson of Exeter now charged with eight new counts of first degree sexual assault and one count of possession of child pornography. We have reason to believe that there could be additional victims and additional criminal charges are possible. Glosson is seen here in court in February at a status hearing following his arraignment on three initial charges of having sexual intercourse and a count of sexual activity with an 18 year old with mental disabilities over the course of several years. Rhode Island State Police said in a news conference Wednesday that after Glosson's initial arrest, more victims came forward leading to these additional charges. I want to stress that this is an ongoing criminal investigation. We strongly encourage anyone with information and or complaints to contact our detective division. State Police Superintendent Colonel James Manny said Glosson allegedly assaulted these additional victims back in the 1980s. Mr. Glosson was affiliated with the Boy Scouts of America from 1980 to 2018, during which time he was also affiliated with the Yagu Scout Reservation, a summer camp in Hopkinton, Rhode Island. Glosson was also an assistant Catholic chaplain and was affiliated with Catholic churches over the years. The Diocese of Providence and the Boy Scouts are now cooperating with the investigation. State police want other potential victims to know they can remain anonymous in reporting abuse or first seek help through the organization day one. The most traumatic experience of their lives, more than likely, and so um, some, a lot of people need help before they can move to the next point. You can find the phone numbers for day one and for the Rhode Island State Police Detectives Unit on our website at WPRI.com. New at 6 o'clock tonight, we look into the statute of limitations on these types of charges and also why it may take victims years to come forward. Live in situ, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Breaking tonight, a former local Boy Scout volunteer facing more charges of sexual assault. The new charges against James Glosson were first breaking on Eyewitness News live at 5. State police say more alleged victims came forward following Glosson's arrest last month. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us live from the mobile newsroom with the breaking details. Kate. Well, James Glosson now faces a total of 11 counts of first degree sexual assault, as well as one count of second degree sexual assault and one count of possession of child pornography. He was arraigned at a status hearing today at Washington County Courthouse, and we're told he still doesn't have a lawyer. Additional victims have come forward. 74 year old James Glosson, a former Boy Scouts volunteer and assistant chaplain, still held at the ACI since his arrest on February 14th, arraigned Wednesday on eight new charges of first degree sexual assault and one count of child pornography. The alleged sexual assaults referenced in the charges filed today took place in the 1980s during the period of time when Mr. Glosson was affiliated with the Boy Scouts of America. This was Glosson in court for a status hearing last month after being initially charged with three counts of first degree sexual assault and one count of second degree sexual assault on an 18 year old man with mental disabilities over the course of several years. State police held a news conference Wednesday asking any other victims to come forward no matter when the alleged assault happened. Presently, there's no uh, statute of limitations on first degree sexual assault. Day One is an organization that helps victims of sexual assault. Executive Director Peg Langhammer couldn't speak specifically about this case, but said most victims come forward in their 50s. Why is that? It's be for a variety of reasons. People don't report. Um, sometimes it's shame. Uh, it's fear. Many times uh, an offender makes threats either to the person or to the person's family. She said once one victim comes forward, it does make it easier for others to come forward as well. 
And the Diocese of Providence and Boy Scouts of America have been cooperating with this investigation from the very beginning. And today, the Narragansett Bay Boy Scout CEO, Tim McCandless, sent us a statement saying they're committed to helping victims heal and, quote, the safety and protection of children in our scouting programs continues to be our top priority, end quote. For more resources, you can head to our website at WPRI.com. Live in situate tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.